The name for this particular penguin comes from where it lives. Along the Galapagos Islands is where you will find them. The Galapagos Islands is located off the western coast of Ecuador. Smaller colonies are also found in the same general area but on other islands. Two that have a constant Galapagos penguin population include Fernandina Island and Isabella Island. They are the only known species of penguin that is able to successfully live so close to the equator. The temperatures here are very warm. At the same time, the water is extremely cold due to the currents that come into the area. The nights are very cool at the equator, which is why they don't venture out when the sun goes down. They are classified as one of the smaller species of penguins. They usually weigh no more than 5 pounds. When they are fully grown, they do not get taller than 20 inches. Imagine that as the height of a large backpack. There are some markings that help make it easier to identify the Galapagos penguin. For example, they feature a head that is black but has a white border that starts out behind the eyes and runs from both sides to meet at the base of their throat. <laughs> the belly is white with small black spots scattered on it. When they are adults, you will notice what looks like an upside down horseshoe there. It can be very small or it can range across the entire belly region. They leave their burrows in the morning as the sun comes up. They spend most of the day eating, playing in the water, caring for their young, and socializing with others in the colony. As the sun goes down, they begin to march back to their burrows for the night. The Galapagos penguin enjoy a variety of foods that they find in the waters around them. They include krill, mullet, and sardines. They also consume a variety of crustaceans. They won't venture very far to find food or dive very deep into the waters. Instead, they stay close to the shoreline. The current is able to bring the majority of the food they want to them without much effort on their part. It is possible for a Galapagos penguin to mate up to three times annually. Once breeding has been successful, the eggs laid have to be incubated for approximately 40 days. Both parents take turns to complete this process to ensure the egg stays warm as well as protected from a variety of predators in the area. The parents will bring food to the burrow for the young for about 65 days before they are forced to move on their own. The Galapagos penguin is an endangered species. There are less than 1,600 Galapagos penguins left in the world. This is believed to be the result of upsets in nature that occurred about 30 years ago. El Nino changes the currents affected by their food supply. As a result, many of the adults died of starvation. The Galapagos penguin is a very beautiful animal. We need to do everything we can to protect them.